Get out of my way, guys. Time to end this, except not really, because we have final encore. My hope is that our PlayStation friends get to use their powers to fight the boss. Like, we kind of get like a section where we have to use Uncharted. I don't know how Loco Roco is going to really benefit us there. You can see right there that there are uh, the PlayStation friends that we had to collect are there. And then everyone else's uh, blank uh, PlayStation move as the uh, analog signal. Good. Oh, all my PlayStations! I also love the uh, the sound that happened. Kind of wish I would have had my default controller. I didn't really think about it, but this is pretty cool. Let's roll. Play squadron, go, yo! We start that level. Four of these. That makes sense for how many I was missing before. Four into uh let's uh skip that real quick. And I will try harder. In the long run, I might end up needing to um I might end up needing to replay this a couple times. Save me, PlayStation 1. Thanks, Ape Escape. Oh, we're just... We're just peepy now. Actually, I love that they're on PlayStation 1. That... That's pretty cool. And now PlayStation 2 friend is the best one. Like most of these guys are gonna be on PlayStation 2, I feel like. Freaking like Sing Star. Good old memory cards. Dude, memory cards were so cool just for the icons on them. Like if you go into your like save data, they had like very unique most of the time, not all the time, they had very unique icons. I'm uh taking battle damage here. Not really great at dodging normally and using motion control to dodge is also difficult for me. Thanks, friends. I love you. Alright, PlayStation 3 is alright. We'll get to PlayStation 3 and it'll be fine. Give me your thing. I see it. Give it to me. Okay, we're missing one. PSP, though, got pat upon and... Uh, I, yeah, I guess Loco Roco. Was Loco Roco specifically a PSP game? I thought it was PlayStation 2. Shows how much I know about Loco Roco. Get to the Vita though, that's got the good stuff that I only played on PlayStation 4 when they ported it. I like Gravity Rush, great. Tearaway, great. Glad I didn't buy a Vita to play them, because I eventually got to play them anyways. Oh lord. 
didn't expect to ride the PlayStation 3. Journey's here. Everyone's here. I would say it's kind of a shame that you only have left and right controls, but it's still um, cool and fun. Oh, there they are, Vita! Grab me, Rush! Take damage! I wonder how much damage you can actually afford to take. Aiming for something in particular here? No, nope, just going on in. Okay, we got them all. That's all that matters. And now it's time for the PlayStation 5. And this is when they introduce the Pro. Everyone cheers for the price point. Oh, we got it. It was a trap! Everyone wants to buy the extra stand and also buy the disk drive. I'm here for you, I'm gonna save you. Space Bully Nebulax. Oh, okay. Roulette wheel with the bosses. Oh, they weren't the bosses, it was the, um, power-up. I don't know why I thought they were the bosses. My PlayStation! I'm already dead! Can we restart? Awful to just take damage that soon. I was just really mad that he was messing up my PlayStation 5. You know how expensive this is? You know how many wait queues I had to go into to try to get this? That was before it was easy to get. I forgot how this works. I didn't realize I still had my, um, frog hands. Did I just spin attack? Well, I can't now because I don't got frog hands, but... I think it would have been kind of funner to have the uh, PlayStation power-ups in this. I can't say I'm too excited about the monkey. Oh, I can grab these balls, right? I've got monkeys in the flow. That's fine. Cause that, my problem was like I um, don't want to really climb in like a boss fight scenario. But the got monkey kind of had other functions. Some trouble with these balls showing up. It really doesn't seem like it's worth fighting enemies if I can just do this. I'm gonna like knock out your teeth soon. Thanks, Loco. Alright, Magnet seems fun. I don't know what Skull is. Would that- Oh, that would be bad. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I wanted to play with the magnet, dang it. God, bloat is gonna be weird. Never really good at using this to begin with. I'm expecting like left and right to show up.
This is actually not too hard, but I don't know if there's something I should be doing. About as good as you can expect for that power-up, I think. That was alright. I almost feel like they should have made you go left and right a little bit, though. Aw, oh, but we never got to use Magnet! I wonder if you can ever use Magnet or if that always is like a silly trick. I mean, all that would be is like dodge until you pick up enough stuff to throw in it, probably, right? Get in there! So many people flossing. Yes! Magnet? Oops. I'm, oops, I'm doing bad. I need like a targeting reticle to really help me out here. Is he gonna run out of stuff? Okay, he's gonna stop. Some of, yeah, some of my Astros maybe died, but it's okay. I also thought that was just gonna be the end, so hopefully I don't have to like do another cycle. Why is the, um, the motherboard out of the ship? Oh, my friends! If only I collected them all. I would have gotten the good plus ending if I had five more friends. I feel like a lot more of those should have been PlayStation guys. Don't let go! No! Astro, why? I can't believe Astro sacrificed themselves. No more Astrobot games, too. It, is it really the fact I didn't have five friends? Bad end? Or are they gonna... Are they gonna... Look at the sad Asobi! They're gonna save it from here. Fake credits. It would have been funny, though, if... I just got blasted back to safety. Would have been funny if you needed to save everyone, though. Oh, am I tired? Dead. I'll oh, see, it was worth it to have to fix the PlayStation because I can shake ass. Wake up, buddy! Wake up! Wake up! Why did- how did the arm get over there? It was like right over here before. Who stole that arm? Wake up! Get up! Get up! What? Oh, you're- are you giving me a new arm? Is that what's happening? Because that arm was pretty messed up looking before. I think you're giving me new parts. Constantly shaking until things break. Yeah, it's new parts. Okay, that makes sense. So you're less crummy looking. Is the head. Oh, yeah, just do it. Do that. Rip off the pieces. I don't think it was so much the uh, limbs as much as like the brain ain't working. Oh, a heart! Yeah, that would have been like the first piece you probably need it. Yeah, just shove that in there. Like, I know a piece fell off, like one of the arms was off, but yeah, the heart I think was, uh... was the main thing. Shake him some more. He just... 
he becomes an Xbox bot. We did it! We did it! Happy logo! Credit Clash! Uh, so yeah, it's a really fun game. Fun credits too. I mean, like, it's more of Astro's Playroom, which is all you really want. And it was really fun. Simple platforming. I think the only level, unless if the um, final encore sucks, but the only level I didn't like was the uh, the rubber duck challenge level. I think it was in Circle. I, I think the main thing with that just is that sometimes you're not really guaranteed to have your, um, to have the, uh, duck run. Oops. Died in the credits. What a chump. You're not guaranteed to have the, uh, water create a decent path for you. I should probably be paying more attention to what's going on around me. But, uh, yeah, uh, besides that, Besides that little bit of complaining, fun game. Um, if only PlayStation could make more fun games. It's just a shame they don't have a lot of IPs that they could really work with. That they didn't cultivate, you know? Who said that? Like the CEO? I guess if you want to say cultivate and that you didn't do anything with them. Like, I love this game. I love seeing the... Uh, the PlayStation characters that I know, or even the ones I don't know if I vaguely recognize, it's so cool. Like, I'm not really too familiar with, uh, Guilty Gear, but like, hey, having Saul Goodman was neat. I, um, I just, it, I, I've seen it kind of said before, great game, fun game, very wholesome, and very cool to see. What? This was in the playroom, but I, we didn't run into any levels with this, right? Uh, very cool to see all these characters and all this like love for PlayStation and the history of PlayStation. But I've seen it be described as almost feels like a graveyard for PlayStation, and I can't help but kind of see it that way. Even if I'm having the time of my life and having a really fun experience, it's still just kind of like a man. Wish, wish more of these games got some love. What is this? Oh, it's just the monkey. They didn't have anything for the monkey to do, so... Fair enough. But yeah, fun game. Can't wait to struggle on Star Roads. Which I'm assuming it's a Star Road. If it's not, then it should have been, because more games need Star Roads. Aw, uh, there's all my PlayStations, They're all right there. What's in the box? And... You. Aw, oh, I'm me. That's me. I'm gonna mess myself up. Yeah! Thank you so much for playing my game. But yeah, great game. Very fun. More credits. Well, at least there's fun scenes involved. Boopy, Volti, Jab Jab, Cockaboom. Let's go, we're getting character names. Worm. Chopter, Goopy, Ring Ring, Buggy Bunny. I like knowing enemy names, and I'm glad I didn't kill those guys. Pumpkindle, Rooter, Trip Trap, 
saying this like you can't see what the names are. Yeah, Ape Escape. Come on, we need more Ape Escape. Make a new Ape Escape PlayStation. Bolter, Venno, Wormy, Voxo. I mean, if you really want to get into, like, I guess my negativity feel with PlayStation. Round Bone, Shock Rock, Volleypop, Vulture. It's not even so much like make new games with your uh, existing IPs like Loco Roco or Patapon, as much as like Mistletoad and Dosko. It's more like such a variety of unique games that PlayStation kind of stopped doing in favor of cinematic video games, which I said, Pogo, Phantom, Master Scosh, I didn't get to be the other one. Which I've said before, I don't mind those games, but that's kind of all they're making now. And that's the frustrating part. Piranha, Snapchat, Jelly Pool, Squirty. I, I, again, I don't know why Octo Dad's here, but like, kudos to you. Fugu, Drumpoline, Dexter, Suga, Katamari. Like, uh, all of these are like maybe third party games, but having things like Katamari, Loco Roco, Patapon. Gravity Rush, Minmon, Mini Leon, Cobbling. It, it's cool. It's cool and I like it. We got these boss names before, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. That's kind of what I used to love about PlayStation was the variety of unique things. Puppeteer was awesome. 3D Dot Game Hero rips off Zelda, but that's cool. It was still fun. Again, I'm going full negative here. I really need to stop. Great game. I enjoyed it a lot. Chief Kawa, Jin of the Lamp, Planoa. I know not all of these are related to just PlayStation needing to like be more unique. Because like Klonoa, who owns Klonoa? I don't remember who owns Klonoa. Bandai Namco, I think. I miss uniqueness. Blunderjaw, Nidhogg. Which you get from indie games, which is great. I like indie games. But you know, that's just me being angry at a great game that I enjoyed a lot. Thanks, credits, for letting me be angry. I had to vent a little bit. Oh, all my friends are here. Just an easy way to get there. New galaxy discovered. Now you can reenact the thrilling final battle as often as you like. Thank you. We didn't get everything from there, right? Yeah, we're good. Don't gotta reenact that, although it's fun. Um, I feel like we have enough coins. Unless if there's there is no, there's only the four. Um Yeah, I feel like we might as well just do this now. And then we can go back to the base. Final Encore, this is it. Who's our last five PlayStations? Whoa! Now this is rad. Watch it just give me a bunch of stuff. Like it's just, uh, here's five guys and some puzzles. Enjoy. Symbol Monkey! <clears throat> Voice cracked. I wasn't expecting Symbol Monkey. Yeah, I'm kind of glad, just by the way this looks, I'm glad that I waited for this to be the actual final. Okay. Symbol Monkey doesn't seem to work as, uh, Fun as I thought it would. Oh, well, there's checkpoints here, so I can't be too um, worried about how this level is going to play out. Yo, is that Madagascar over there? 
sorry, I forgot. Julian? Is that his name? Mr. Madagascar himself? Classical conductor. Excellent at conducting under pressure. I, I don't know. A conductor? I, don't, I have no idea, dude. Seems like these are gonna be really, uh... Oh. Didn't realize there was a bomb on me. Real, uh, crazy pulls. Oh, I didn't realize that was safe. I thought that was lava for some reason. Gonna all be symbol monkey, or are we gonna get the minigun? Spiritic Crooner. Singing isn't a sport, it's a battle. Are these like people that worked on the game, or are these actual PlayStation pulls? Because I have no idea what I'm looking at. A conductor and a singer. Seems like very music themed. That didn't do anything. I have to be close. kidding me. Fall Guy's Jump Scare, Clumsy Bean, able to overcome all obstacles. So they aren't just like a composer, unless the Fall Guy's worked on this. <laughs> um, what a weird... Uh, I know it was free on PlayStation Plus. So I guess it kind of was related, and I know they've done... It makes actually it makes a lot of sense. Um, Astro Bot had a cameo in in uh, Fall Guys or cameo a, a costume, I guess. It's kind of the same thing. So I kind of see it. But um, for like the last level, I guess. Unless if you want to not call it the last level, since it's just bonus, but it is called Final Encore. I can barely hear that piano just because of the music. Fucking Fall Guys. I'm sorry, that just really threw me off. Especially when I went through most of this thinking that it was like people that worked on the games. I don't know any of these other characters very well. Here you go. Oh. You just made someone show up. Like, who are you? Amateur vocalist, always down for a duet. A lot of like song related ones, and then Fall Guy. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Also, I see this is more of a uh, victory lap than it is a bonus level, which is fine. I also appreciate. Uh, well, bonus level. Still bonus, not star mode, just victory lap. I still appreciate having fun with this, so.
Maybe the thing we unlock with all the puzzle pieces is a, um... I died! Dang it, it's Star Road. It's very difficult. Uh, maybe the thing we unlock with all the bonus... pieces is a, uh, bonus level, but I'm assuming it's just a you-did-everything kind of thing. I don't really think I need this much money anymore. What am I missing? I'm missing one more person. Is it gonna be anyone that I'm gonna be like, oh, look at that guy. Check that guy out. That's cool. Or am I just not gonna know any of these? That's upsetting. Any of these except for Fall Guy. Oh, that's the checkpoint. And I got hit by that. Cool. I want the money still. I know I don't need the money, but I want the money. What a silly way for me to die there, though. Can I knock you in a direction? Thank you. I thought that was gonna bounce me for some stupid reason. I don't know why, because we went through that and it didn't bounce before. I really need to stop doing this. I just don't want the game to end. That's my excuse. Yeah, this is a store road. Okay, let's try to not suck at this. One, I don't really have to be so, uh... I don't have to take up, uh, do it as fast as I was trying to do it, or like, time it. Here are characters screaming. character. Did I think I heard a character? Camera mode, save me! Dang. Camera mode don't work like that. It kind of seems like this is more or less the end. Oh, there's the- okay. Well, there, there's the last character. What? Groovy, groovy reporter, up, down, left, right, choo, choo. What a, um... Space channel, right? Like, I, like what a weird... Pull for the last one. I don't know who I would have. I guess who would be the perfect like last one? What was like the first PlayStation exclusive game? I guess that would be what I would go for, right? Even if it's like something weird. Alright, but that's everyone, and that should be all the puzzle pieces. So let's check it out. I think we're still missing um a controller and character. I wonder if they're related to the uh, four things we need to collect. There it is. It's beautiful.
That was the very last puzzle piece. Well done. Looks like a special friend awaits you at the top. Ooh, special friend. Never mind. We're not done. There's a special friend. Congratulations. You rid the world of that evil bully and saved the day, but there are still many lost spots to rest. Not really. Can you find them all? The way I understand it, there's um, a special friend, maybe? And these are all just dizzy desk. Ready to take anyone for a spin. I wonder how Fall Guys is doing. I kind of really fell off of it when they uh, made the, like, level creator. Some kind of... Oh, I should have... He controls the beacon or something. I should have read that. Turn singers into stars. So are two of them um, sing star characters? Because there was two. It said, like, a duet. Reporter's mic. Helps deliver swinging reports in style. Look at her go, she's doing it! Well, at least it wasn't Fall Guy, right? Beautiful. No more gotcha for me. Alright, we gotta look at people. We gotta, we gotta look at some folks that are around. Wherever they may be. A lot of folks I've already seen over here. Don't know what I'm doing this way. There's a good chance I'm gonna, like, miss some. Which is kind of why I want to... Double check. Oh, it's just... Alright. Boring boar, dude. Harmonious. Okay. I mean, I don't know anything about SingStar. You were definitely the one that was, like, most exciting from that level. Is he fat rolling? Makes sense, it's heavy armor, right? <laughs> that's a... That's a very good one. I appreciate that one. I love the fat roll, I love the death animation, that's great. Uh, ball guy. I gave him like a full platform to rotate on. It's kind of crazy to not have seen that. Maybe it's more center. I feel like I keep missing. Oh, I didn't get to look at you guys. Sack boy! It's messed up. It's messed up that he's dead. I thought he would, like, bring his cursor out. Alright. You guys are fun. I don't know if I missed anyone else around. Besides not knowing where Fall Guys is. There's Fall Guys. Oh, and the Wipeouts. Yeah, it's basically appropriate. I think you'd be rolling around for a bit longer, and then you'd just kind of stay ragdolled for a while. Wipeout! 
Aw, oh, you're juice. I like how one of them is actually, like, driving and they're all just kind of, like, hanging out like it's a pit stop. Which makes more sense than you going nuts over here. Alright. Alright, I think that's everyone. Maybe we'll save that for last, actually. That might be fun. End on them singing us out, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Unless if I just forget all about it. Oh, if only I had 300 friends. Did I? Oh. I have a dance button. I did not know that. Did I step too far away? That's cool. One friend was taking a little too long. All right. Climbing my friends up into a planetoid. Okay, this might be Star Road if we were going into a portal. Oh, it's definitely going to be Star Road. Great master challenge. Let's go. I sucked at these already, so... Shape battle is gonna be... nuts. Damn it. Bad timing. Good start. Uh, just timing, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, okay, this is where we're gonna be, like, stuck in a while. This is where we're gonna- this is where we're gonna be for a little bit. This is- this is it. I wonder who we're gonna get... The, like, the final thing. It's a special somebody. I really need to just start pulling, I think. Ah, uh, trying to fi Yeah, I need to just pull if it's down and hope for the best, because trying to time that is not working out for me. Good start, right? This is definitely going to be like a do it all in one go and I'm, uh... Dying to a really asinine thing like that. I wonder how long this actually is. Again, I'm just... I need to stop trying to be fancy with this. I can only imagine that you could probably run through this pretty smoothly. So trying to do some kind of timing where I wait and come in is probably not... That's it. That's the timing. Thankfully, I'm not going to die and have to come back here ever again, so... That, like, broke on me awfully quick. I don't, like, pause when I move when I start charging, right? I don't know if I hit something weird that just kind of made that... not really work out for me. Bad. Awful.
Yo, I'm pretty good at jumping those shapes though, right? Yeah, you don't pause. Oh, I did not think you would be able to actually shoot me. I was, um... Under the impression I could walk past you. Okay, just like a little bit of a pause before you get in there and you should be good to go. That's good enough. Shooty chameleon. Okay, that's good enough. Oh boy. Oh, no, no. Don't slime me. No! wasn't in the right spot to actually jump that. The uh, ball was too thick. I needed to be like in the chain zone. I kind of was going too fast there. I should have like really stopped to assess the situation. <laughs> Stay too close to you, bird. This bird's honestly the worst part for me right now. Like legit, this is what's really causing me issues. At the very least, it's at the start of the level, right? That's something. Yeah, right before they fall is when I need to time that, and I don't know why that was so difficult for me to figure out. Freaks me out, god damn you, chameleon. I know it was my fault. I know I shouldn't have just jumped right into it. I kind of thought last time all I did was kind of jump back and forth and that worked out, so I kind of thought that that would just work out too. I didn't really try too much when they were, um. Fudge me. I didn't really try too much when the uh, chameleon was there the first time when I got that far. I'm just happy there's no rubber ducks, okay? Why did that happen? It's the um the fact that it's ice ground 
kind of threw me off a little bit, and I just wasn't on it at the appropriate time. Why are you, like, desynced? This other bell's weird. That also almost kind of went bad. It dying to, like, simple stuff, you know? <sighs> Why am I doing this? Why is this the new thing that I'm struggling with? I was able to jump that wall fine the other times, and all of a sudden, this is, this is me now. Getting a little greedy with that. Really should uh, still hold and just wait. Ate it there. That slime almost became an issue. I don't like this X. I don't like this. Oh lord, I don't like what I'm looking at here. Why did I try to go in the middle? Why did I think that would be a fun idea? And not just stay to the side? I'm like, oh, check out this trick shot. I wonder if that's the end. I kind of doubt it, but it's like running through the last shapes kind of feels like an end thing. Damn it. This bird pisses me off. It's kind of like just a slowdown situation. Honestly, I do wonder. You bad! You're a bad robot. You jumped me. Um, I do wonder if I should try to jump in the middle or not. I feel like honestly, triangle is probably the hardest one to try to jump through the middle. A square and a um circle would be pretty straightforward. Comparatively, that was too soon. <sighs> I'm just trying to bait him out, and sometimes if I run away too fast, he doesn't get baited. You think I'd be a lot better at baiting, but I'm not. I feel like I was way too close there for the bait part to happen. I'm not quite at full tilt yet. But I can feel it coming. Soon I will become tilted. This part I feel like is not too bad. Until I start screwing it up. And I realize that it is bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. That's so dumb of me. That's so bad. 
That's exactly what I was saying. Like, it's it's simple, it's straightforward. I, that was a situation where I was thinking way too far ahead. I was looking at the uh, spinning spike ball guy and thinking like, okay, how will I deal? I just have to take it easy. Be calm. I don't even think a lot of this is too difficult. It's just... Some issues happen and it kind of annoys me. Like, I mean, most of these obstacles don't even really actually come at me. Oh, that was awkward. Usually I'm timed where I can hit him and I just didn't uh, think about how to actually dodge that. Too soon. I mean, I could try to pull... I might, I mean, obviously this is taking me a long time. <clears throat> That's me being greedy. Too much greed. I'm so used to like just following a uh, rhythm of motions that when things don't go quite as synchronized as I expect them to, I'm just not ready to like take that into consideration. Like I've always been able to get to the uh, bird at that point. Or I've always been able to bounce before the uh, they slam again is what I mean. I mean the most frustrating part is it just seems like I'm dying to the stupidest stuff. fast with that chameleon. Oh, you bastard child. It's fine. I'm cool. I'm cool. We're cool. It's fine. Can you fall for me? Hate that bird. That's definitely the most frustrating part for me is that stupid bird. Because it's just trying to get it synced up right. Well, mostly everything else is just kind of going through the motion. And me being bad at doing it. But the bird is like... Annoying. Whatever I was having trouble with here. So I think... I think just walking into the enemy killed me. I think that's what happened there. And that's annoying. That's frustrating. That pisses me off that that just happened. Okay. Getting really aggressive with the bird is the way to go with that. Silly me for thinking otherwise. Man, I'm in speedrun mode now. Check me out, dog. <laughs> Never mind. Don't check me out. Please don't check me out. Do you think I can reach the square without bothering with the uh, slime on the X? I would try that, but I'm really afraid he's gonna slime me. Like, after the fact that he's gonna... Follow me home, you know? <laughs> you bastard! There's definitely a way to time that, and I'm not doing it. Good thing is I don't need any of the money that I had. Hello. 
See, so you could definitely do that. It's just some of the timing is a little weird sometimes. I'm not going to try to dodge him. That was a little bit bad positioning there, but it's fine. Hi. Right. This is stupid that it's... I'm getting trapped here. That's bad. I need to slime. Sparks pretty normal except X is scary. You fuck it! Alright, that was really mad. That was I forgot that the floor was falling out from under me, so that was really bad. And uh me cursing like that is a little unhinged. I need to stop. There wasn't, like, I was hoping that that almost worked. The problem is, I don't know why I wasn't over there. That almost worked fine, but the problem is that the uh, triangle birds didn't stop firing until, or, like, they won't stop firing until much later. Um, I could still do that, though, like, going around them, that's fine. But I think at the end, I need to try to jump through once I actually get to the end of that. But the, uh, yeah, that sucks that they didn't stop. Experts are pretty safe because you have a lot of options. You can do an in between, you can do, um, basically anything. Sorry. Thinking. Afraid of that chameleon. You can go under them, you can go to the sides. That wasn't the best positioning. Afraid of the stupid... Because if you're in the air and he shoots at you, it's kind of hard to dodge it, and I'm stupid for trying to jump that. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting that tilt. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, it's in my blood, but it keeps me alive. It's not real tilt, I'm not like really angry. Just a little upset. I doubt those birds are the end. But I can hope, I guess, is the thing, right? Hope the birds are done, that it's over after that. I've only gotten two triangle birds. I am desperately hoping that square and circle are easier. But there might be something weird about them. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. There might be something weird about them that makes them more difficult than what I expect. Because you would think they would have a very large area of um, entry in their circle. I got a little scared. I thought. I thought the bell was. Oh, come on, birds! See there being some kind of bullshit that makes score and circle harder than they would appear to be. But the area you'd have to jump in between should be easy. Granted, I feel like the area you jump in between for triangles should probably be easy too. Maybe I shouldn't uh, be so scared of it. I was a little worried there. Yeah, 
Okay, this should be... Please. Look how easy triangles should have been. I see why square might be a little difficult. Okay, not bad. Please, we're good. It's over now, right? Oh, I think it's over. Unless... I, that should not have been... Are you? This is what... <laughs> so I have to ask then... Was Parappa the first PlayStation game? Was I right on the money? Lyrical Master, kick punch it's all in the mind. That was uh, not bad. Oh, go back outfit, your triangles are showing. Gen 1 Dual Speeder, the classics never go out of style. That was good. I, it wasn't, I don't think it was actually that difficult. I just was bad at it. Like in any of these levels, these challenge like symbol levels, Definitely were harder than base level stuff, but I don't think they were like the hardest thing ever. Even though I struggled. I guess you don't get anything. Look at them just running to their position. I also didn't realize it forced me into this outfit, but obviously I would have wanted to wear it. It's cute. Throwback's really funny when it's a character that doesn't actually have a throwback. Like, obviously, this doesn't have to be, like, polygonal in a sense that would make complete sense with... Oh, this was also changed to throwback? Uh, in a way that makes perfect sense for... Um, Astrobot if it was, like, a PlayStation 1 game. But it's, it's cute. I like low-poly... Uh, ideas. But, uh, yeah. Okay, that was good. That was good to end it on. Encore into that was fun. We have everyone here. It was a great game. Astro Astro's in a weird spot, I guess. I, I was gonna say, I would love more Astrobot games just because they're fun to play. But, like, how much PlayStation nostalgia can you get? Because, like, Astro is really kind of built on that at this point. I don't think you could really make an Astrobot game without it being like PlayStation throwback stuff. Um, they're fun. Uh, I don't know, has Team Asobi, as Team Asobi, made anything else? Because that, that basically was, um, or is the new PlayStation Studio. I would like to see them work on other stuff, because obviously this is a great game. Fun game. Amazing game. But I'd, I'd be curious. Poor Laura Croft. But yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed playing it. That was a breath of fresh air. Sing us out.